Starting medical school is exciting and at the same time, absolutely overwhelming. You go from being the smartest person in your undergrad class to feeling like you're drowning in material that you barely recognize. You wonder if you belong, you worry about falling behind, burning out, or just straight up failing. And trust me, I get it because I've been there. My name is JR Smith and thankfully I was able to find a way to thrive in medical school. I scored in nearly the 99th percentile on step two, honored most of my clerkships, and ultimately matched into my number one pick for residency in one of the most competitive specialties at one of the top ranked programs in the country. And I don't say that to flex, I say that because if I can do it, I genuinely believe that you can too. Because I'm not the smartest, I came in knowing nothing about medicine, and I wasn't an elite student to begin with. I had a relatively average college GPA, had to take the MCAT twice, had absolutely horrendous study habits, but I was able to grow into someone who excelled in medical school, and in this video, I'm going to give you the ultimate survival guide. Everything that I wish someone had told me before day one, so that you can set yourself up for the same kind of success. The reality is that med school isn't about who's the smartest, it's about who adapts the fastest. I remember early on, I fell into a trap I see a lot of people fall into, resource overload. I tried to do everything, review the school's PowerPoints, do their modules, run through Anki, skim textbooks, hammer practice questions, and it felt like I was working all day, but getting nowhere. All I earned was anxiety, sleep deprivation, and a real fear that maybe I just wasn't cut out for this. What I learned is that more isn't better. It's actually a lot worse. If someone is bragging about the amount of time they spend studying, what they're really doing is kind of embarrassing themselves. Efficiency is the game when it comes to medical school. Choosing a few high yield strategies and sticking with them is the move. The first thing that you have to master is your time. Not just manage your time, but master it. When I had my first child during medical school, my world flipped overnight. Suddenly it wasn't just school that I had to worry about. It was diapers, feedings, supporting my wife, showing up as a father, and somewhere in there, passing exams and helping take care of patients. I used to just hope that I could find some time to rest or be with my family, but hope isn't the best strategy. But everything changed when I started to schedule everything. Not just classes and study sessions, but family time, workouts, even chill time. Blocking it off on my calendar is what made it real. It freed my mind. When I was with my family, I could actually be with my family. When I was studying, I could fully lock in. And that's how you protect your energy, not just your time. A typical ideal day in my schedule involves space dedicated to working out, work or my clinical responsibilities, family time, deep work, and rest. It's so much easier to stay on track with your goals when you have a plan and your calendar is your plan. So if you open up your calendar right now, would your plan look chaotic, purposeful, or would there even be a plan at all? Next, base your study strategies on science. Don't just do the things that you did in college. I spent hours and hours learning the study strategies that are the most effective and efficient ways to learn because again, efficiency is key. And that's why most of the videos on my channel have been about this topic. I used to think that I had to reread notes, rewrite outlines, cram last minute, but once I realized that memory is all about active recall and spaced repetition, my entire approach changed. I built my study life around one single thing, Anki. Early in my first year, I committed to it hard and it was scheduled into every day at the beginning of my day. I ended up doing Anki for over 1000 days in a row, which seems crazy right now, but it carried me to pass step one without needing a dedicated study period and score around the 99th percentile on step two. And in reality, it also kept me prepared in class and in the hospital. Medicine is really based on pattern recognition. You see a group of symptoms and develop a list of possible causes. So studying in a way that supports pattern recognition is key. Anki uses active recall, which forces you to retrieve info instead of just rereading it in space repetition, which makes sure that you see it again right before you forget it. Together, it's probably the greatest resource that a medical student can have. Speaking of resources, let's talk about a few other must haves. First off, UWorld. If you're waiting until the week before your exam or your dedicated season to do practice questions, you are already behind. Start early, get comfortable being uncomfortable. Questions will teach you better than lectures ever will. Thinking that you'll perform on exams just from studying is like someone thinking that they'll learn to swim from watching videos of swimming. That is how you drown, in the pool and on test day. Just like you have to get in the water to learn to swim, you have to do practice questions to become a good test taker. And another amazing resource that all first year medical students need is KinHub. KinHub is actually sponsoring today's video, but honestly, I would have talked about them either way because I absolutely love KinHub. Anatomy is the backbone of medicine and typically one of the hardest blocks early in medical school. Back when I was drowning in anatomy, trying to memorize muscles and nerves like random words on a page, KinHub saved me. It's a full platform built to actually teach you the material in a way that sticks. 
With a premium account, you get access to high quality anatomy video tutorials that walk you through everything visually, plus detailed quizzes and an incredible question bank. It's almost like they also prioritize evidence-based studying for efficiency and effectiveness, which is exactly what we've been talking about. They even have full articles written by medical experts to break down concepts in a simple, digestible way. You'd be surprised how KinHub makes studying anatomy enjoyable. If you're serious about locking down anatomy early, which you should be, KinHub makes it a thousand times easier to actually understand the body instead of just memorizing random words. I genuinely wish that I had leaned into KinHub even earlier in my medical school career because it would have saved me so much time and stress. I'll drop the link below, so check it out if you want to start med school already feeling confident with anatomy. Now, one thing that we have to talk about that is key to any med school survival kit is protecting your mental health. Imposter syndrome hit me hard first year. I looked around and felt like everyone else already knew what they were doing and I was the only one struggling. But over time, I realized something powerful. Imposter syndrome is really just admiration twisted into insecurity. But eventually, I learned to appreciate my classmates' gifts without losing sight of my own. I remember in histology, for example, I was in a group with someone who had already studied this stuff during a master's program. I felt lost next to him. But later, when we hit our musculoskeletal block, I found my lane. Medicine is so broad, everyone shines somewhere. Learning to celebrate others without forgetting your own worth is one of the most important skills that you can build. Last key to survival, which I believe is probably the most important, is to spend the summer before starting becoming the best version of yourself so that you can really hit the ground running. And that's exactly why I created the Evolving Student Challenge. This isn't just another course or checklist. The Evolving Student Challenge is a 30-day challenge where I help you create systems for you to incorporate into your own life ranging from how to master your schedule, set up your study systems, manage your mental health, and really just walk into day one of medical school already moving like a top performer. Inside the challenge, you'll get lifetime access to structured video lessons, my own personal Notion workspace, which I still use to this day, and practical exercises that help you set up your calendar, optimize your energy, and avoid the traps that most first years fall into. It's literally the blueprints that I wish someone gave me before I stepped foot into my first lecture. Plus, it's built specifically for students who want to not just survive med school, but truly dominate it, while still at the same time protecting your peace. If you want to show up ready, not scrambling, and if you want to be confident, not just hope you figure it out, then this was made for you. I'll drop the link below, and if you're serious about starting strong, I would definitely recommend checking it out. Now, let me leave you with this. You don't have to be perfect. You just have to be consistent. Growth doesn't happen when things are easy, Growth happens when you're struggling, adapting, and getting up after the hits. And the fact that you're even preparing already puts you ahead of most. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you would absolutely love this one where I show you what it's like working in the world's top ranked hospital. And it might give you a bit of motivation to crush it in medical school. As always, keep evolving and I'll see you in the next one.